Lobby Tools, Florida's legislative intelligence company. Subscribe today to Florida's leading policy, budget, and campaign tracking service. Request a free trial today at LobbyTools.com. Criminal justice advocates have been pushing for years to reform what they've described as outdated laws in Florida. This year, reformers scored a victory, raising the felony theft threshold from $300 to $750. So that the punishment matches the crime more appropriately for modern times. That hadn't been raised since the 80s. While reformers are happy to see the threshold raised, They'd initially asked for it to be set at $1,000 or even $1,500. The $750 limit was a compromise reached with retailers who worried raising the threshold would encourage thieves to steal higher priced items. Criminals are very smart. They know what that theft threshold is and they steal just up to that limit. That way they're quickly back out on the streets. But reform groups push back against that concept. If you steal something 750 and below, you're still committing a misdemeanor. It's still a crime. You can still go to jail for up to a year. The Florida Retail Federation says part of the reason it ended up supporting the final bill is because it also extends the aggregation period for felony theft from 48 hours to 30 days. That means if a thief steals $750 over a one month period, they'll still be charged with a felony. We're hopeful and confident this will help eliminate a lot of the organized retail crime rings. Criminal justice reform groups hope this new law is only the first step. Even at $750, Florida's felony theft threshold remains the lowest in the southeastern United States. Reporting at the state capitol, I'm Jake Stofan.